Hey, friends, they're going to draw a pirate map. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. Pirate maps are really cool because you can use these in real life, too. Yes. We're going to show you how to make the outside of the pirate map, and then you can change the inside yes. to maybe be a pirate map for your bedroom Ooh. or your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're going to use a marker. You can use whatever you have at home. You also need some paper. Paper. And something to color. Yeah. You ready to start? Yeah. First, we're going to draw the outside of our paper. And we're going to draw it rolled up on the ends. So watch me. We're going to draw the rolled up part over here. So I'm going to start like this. I'm going to draw a spiral that comes around. And watch. I'm going to go even more around until we get to there. So we need to draw a spiral that comes around and then ends going this way. So you can start right here. Yeah, like a snail shell. A snail shell, yeah. Just like a snail shell. And then go one more time around. Yes. And there you go. And then we're going to draw the same snail shell, except going the, oh, actually, let's do it this way, because then we'll make it a little easier. We're going to come this way. Oh, and watch. I'm going to draw a little, little, like, tears in, the, in it going like this. It's kind of tricky, but I bet you could do it. And then I'm going to stop over here. So you could come over, maybe add a little tear, and then keep coming across. Maybe another tear. Yeah. And then keep coming. And then we're going to stop, right? Yeah, that's a good spot. And then we're going to spiral around this way. And I'm just going to do a little spiral. Yeah, good job. Okay, now inside, let's make the spiral look more 3D. Okay. So right here, let's start on the outside and we'll draw a line down. On the outside right here, yeah. And then we're gonna draw on this side, we're gonna draw it down. And yours is already, oh, yep, that works too. And then we're gonna draw another one right here on the inside and then right on the edge of the paper. There you go. Look, it looks like a piece of paper all rolled up. Yeah. Let's do the same thing over here. We're going to start on the outside. We're going to start right here. And then we're going to draw it straight down. Yeah, right there. Boop. Yep. And then we're going to draw it on the inside straight down. And you kind of already have it connected, but you could start here and then go down. And I'm going to do the same thing. There we go. We have the top of our map. Now let's draw the side of the map. We're going to start all the way over here and we're going to draw it coming down our paper. So we're going to start on the outside and we're going to come down to here. Yes. And then we're going to do the same way over here. We're going to draw another line down about there. Yeah. Now let's draw a curve and we're going to try to match this curve. See how mine goes up a little in the middle? Yeah. Yours goes straight across. Like, yeah, but you got a little, you got little tears. So we're going to add tears here. You watch me. I'm going to draw a curve like this and I'm going to come up. Whoop, and I, I went the other way. We want to draw the tear going inside. That's okay. It's a little mix up, yeah. but there's no mistakes, right? Yeah. Then we're going to draw over here and I'm going to connect into here. So we're going to draw a little curve. Oh yeah, there you go. Sorry, I drew on your paper. And you can add a tear going up. There you go. And then keep coming. And then draw another tear if you want. And one more. And then we're going to connect into the paper. Yes! We did it, Olivia. We finished the outside or the main part of our pirate map. Well, the yeah. paper that our map is going to be on. And this part, we can leave it just like this. And our art friends can change it to be any kind of map that they want. They could put yeah. anything on here. So you could design your room. You could draw your bed or maybe it's even your backyard. You could put your fence or oh, maybe you even have a dog house in your backyard. Mm. You could put lots of different things on this pirate map. But yeah. we're going to make up a make-believe pirate map. So we're going to draw an island and we're going to add lots of things on our island. So let's first make a shape. And I'm just going to draw a crazy shape on my map. This is a pirate island on my pirate. map. And you can make your own shape for your pirate island. Oh, I like how <laughs> wavy it is. Then I'm going to draw right here. I'm going to draw a little oh, over here. I'm going to draw a volcano. Volcano? Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to add a little volcano right here and I'm going to add some lava on it. So you got to be careful about this pirate island. It's dangerous. 
<laughs> there you go. I like that. It's a pointy mountain. That's cool. You could even add more pointy mountains if you want. I'm going to add maybe some, oh, maybe we could add a mountain right here. And I'm going to draw, maybe this is some grass. Oh, I'm going to draw a waterfall that comes down like this. And the water is going to come out to the ocean like this. And I'm going to draw a little, whether well, that's kind of a waterfall too, huh? Yeah. Then we're going to draw more things like this. So I went crazy. I drew lots of things. Yeah. You want to add some trees. You could add a river. You can add whatever you want. I'm going to challenge you to change it. Oh, and you can also add the same mm, things that I added. Right. Yeah. I was going to stop. Oh, it turns into like a, a pool or a, a, pond. a pond. I <laughs> like it. And I'm going to add, let's add even more things. I'm going to draw a shark that's out here in the water. You got to be careful of the shark. So yeah. I'm going to draw it like this and then like that. And then we're going to draw shark teeth an eye, and then it's in the water. <laughs> there we go. There's a little shark jumping out of the water. Are you going to add a shark too? Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. I did it fast. So, oh, oh, yours looks awesome. It's off to the side. I'm really challenging you because I drew that fast and then you're still matching it. That's awesome. <laughs> That looks really cool. Okay, now we can even add, so should we add some palm trees? Yes. Okay, you can follow along. I'll do it slower. Let's draw two lines that come curve out next to each other. Yeah, and then we're gonna add one palm leaf. One. And then we can add another palm leaf. And let's add two more palm leaves for four. Yeah, let's repeat that again and add Another palm tree. I'm going to go a little faster this time since I'm just repeating the same steps. Well, I'm going to add a palm tree over here. And maybe even a couple more. Maybe some right in the middle of our map too. Let's add rocks over here in the ocean. Let's add a rock like here. I'm going to add it an upside down U shape. There you go. And then we can connect the bottom. And let's add another smaller U shape next to it. And we'll connect the bottom too. We can even add little ripples in the water, just like we did for the shark. Now we're going to add one more thing to our map, but before we do that, we're going to color it. So this part will fast forward. At the end though, you can pause the video to match our same coloring, or you could color your drawings any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing. Wait a minute. This We finished coloring our map, but we didn't finish the pirate part of the map. We yes. need to show the directions to get to the buried treasure. Then we're going to use the red marker to make the X. This is where the treasure is. X marks the spot. Yes. So you can pick somewhere on the island that you want to bury the treasure. Where are you going to put it? That's exactly where I was going to put my treasure. I want to put it right here too. So we're going to put an X right next to the waterfall. Then let's switch. You can even go over that one more time so it's even brighter or darker. Yeah, there you go. Nice. That's a good X. Okay, now we're going to switch back to our black marker. And we're going to make a dashed line for directions to get to the buried treasure. Yeah. I'm going to start here. I'm going to put it right next to the shark. And watch me, I'm going to do the little dashes. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go over the water. So we're going to go across the water. Then we're going to come over this way. So I'm going to draw. Oh, we got to go around the lava. We don't want to go on the lava because that's too dangerous, right? Yeah, then, on the lava. <laughs> I'm going to turn around this way go in between the trees and then you end up at the waterfall right where 
the buried treasure is. And you did it too. I like, I like that they you send them directions right next to the X, but then you gotta keep going all the way over here and then land. It's a trick. <laughs> it's a trick. You it's get a them. trick map. <laughs> it's trick map, yeah. And that's it. That's how you draw a pirate treasure map. And I love how it turned out. Yours is really cool. Thank you, I like yours too. Oh, thanks. And I especially love that this lesson you can change. You Instead of doing an island or make-believe place, you could do it in your backyard or you could even do it in a classroom. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you could draw your entire classroom and maybe you hid treasure in your desk and you've got to give directions to your desk. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you have fun drawing a pirate treasure map with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.